Hey Trinity, I wanted to help with our Earth salt, but I'm broke to help. Have you heard of Leafy Lane Trees? What's Leafy Lane Trees? Leafy Lane Trees is a great new startup company that helps people help others by letting them plant trees very easily in their backyard or really anywhere. Yeah, and the best part is you do it yourself instead of just throwing money into charity. Leafy Lane Trees is a great new company that offers innovative and eco-friendly ways for people to grow their own trees. A tree, the tree growing kit comes with everything you need to plant a tree, from the seeds to the soil and everything in between. Leafy Lane Trees is actively contributing to the environmental conser conservation efforts. Trees help absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere purify the air we breathe, and provide habitat for wildlife. With leafy lane trees, you don't need to be a professional gardener. With easy to follow instructions, we ensure that your tree will be successful. Growing a tree can be a fun and educational process for any ages, seven to 70. Leafy lane tree kits are a great way to introduce gardening and teaching kids to enjoy the environment outside. Leafy Lane Growing Kits make a unique birthday, anniversary, housewarming gift. It's a gift that keeps giving as the tree continues to grow and benefit the earth for years to come. Growing your own tree with Leafy Lane Tree Kits is an affordable and sustainable way to add greenery to your surroundings. Plus, you'll save money so you don't have to spend extra on expensive retail trees. And you get the satisfaction of growing it yourself. Leafy Lane Trees has new mapping technology that will show you where you can and can't plant trees in your neighborhood. Leafy Lane Trees is also the only company in North America currently doing this. Their mapping technology is easy to use and very straightforward. Our prices knock everyone else's out of the park with other big companies such as local nurseries, Home Depot, and the Tree Center, and many more. Leafy Lane Trees is over 40% cheaper and much more reliable. Whether you want to buy one tree or 25, or even a monthly subscription, we have you covered. Leafy Lane Trees has a variety of different plants you can buy, from palm trees to spruce trees. We have found places that we can buy our entire kit for $7 and we can uh, sell them for up to $25. And we're taking 25% of our profits and donating to charity, which means we'll make a 42% profit margin. In summary, Leafy Lane Trees is a com company that offers convenient, eco-friendly, and affordable ways to grow your own trees. By supporting this company, you'll not only be beautifying your surroundings, but also contributing to environmental conservation efforts. We believe that leafy lane trees will be the future of tree planting and helping our environment. Thank you. Awesome, thanks for the presentation. Love the branding first and foremost of the website. Who designed it? Nice job. Um, so I guess I'm hearing a lot of whether you're seven or 70, whether it's one or 20 trees, what is your ideal persona? Who, if you could choose the perfect person to buy this, who would it be? What are they buying? Which tree even? Tell me the, the journey. How do they find you? And who are they old? Are they? Give me a little bit more detail there. So I think it's just someone who's looking to help the environment, but I think it's more people specifically like we're looking at content creators because that's really good. Like, so many fans and everyone, when you're saying, Oh, I'm going out and I'm planting trees to help the environment, their fans are going to be like, Oh my gosh, like they're doing so well, like they're helping the environment. So content creators kind of like, but also teenagers, but like teenagers. Just choose what, how old are they? And like, um, like in 20, 20s, influencer, are they at Toronto, are they in? Yeah, so like Toronto area for sure. Um, places in our, uh, like our town, they plant a lot of trees. Um, so 
so that would be something as well. Like just, but yeah, Toronto area. Okay. Um, in terms of, uh, you said there's a mapping technology, like geocaching style, can and can plant trees in certain areas. How have you verified this? Like, is it true that there are places you can plant, but places you can't plant? Yeah, so there, there isn't really a, like a straight law that tells you can't, that you can't plant in some places, but some places if you plant a tree somewhere, that it might interrupt the biography of that area. And like the, sorry, not biography, the biology of that area. And it might interrupt like the living things around there. So we have um, on the background, it'll come around one time, but there'll be like a slide and it shows you the highlighted areas that you can get directions to and you can go there and you can plant trees by yourself. That's something you developed yourself or is that something that's already been developed on like a .org website? We, um, we haven't, we made a, we've contacted some people and that's just for our hometown and where we are, but we're planning on going around to mayors and people who uh, like control the town and tell us where we can plant trees and where we can. And who did you contact to get this information? Uh, we contact some city officials. Awesome, thank you. So it's like, I want to go back and forth right there. Here's the map. I've got, did you talk to anybody to validate this, that people would actually buy? Uh, we... Okay. Um, so not, we haven't actually, but we have, we have faith in people that, you know, a lot of people, including ourselves, really want to help here. But we don't really know how, so this would be a really good way to, you know, add greenery or help your own town if there's some bad pollution in your area. And it's just overall, we just have faith. There's also a successful company similar to ours based in Europe. So that company has gained lots of traction over the past few years. So we thought we could recreate something similar in our area. Uh, also, you mentioned at the beginning that, you, that it was a bad idea to throw your money into charity. But then later you decided you're gonna give 25% to charities? We weren't saying necessarily it's a bad idea. We just mean it. You kind of feel more involved when you plant the tree yourself rather than donating and letting a whole corporation do it for you. I love the website. Because it's green. Yeah. Um, we just, just know each other before coming here, so it's all right to do that, right? Here it's just that so. Um, I, I love what you guys do here for the, the reasons. I think everyone's going to have a great why. Uh, I think the questions that are being asked the, from the other uh, you know, colleagues that we have here really got, kept, got to get you to think about really what you recreating. My comment to you guys is, is, is this a, uh, an application that's gonna help an individual figure out where to go plant and how to plant? Is that it? Yes. Okay, because I Googled that on two sheets and I was able to get an answer to that. I just asked how to plant and where to plant. So what I'm wondering is, is how is this different? See, the thing is, when, when we're planting a tree, it's, it's a lot more complicated than that because you have to figure out uh, if you can, like, you have to look at the surrounding area and see if you can plant specific trees there because we have different types of trees, like palm trees, oak trees, spruce trees, and you have to figure out if you can plant that tree there. So that's what our website, Bianli, does. It tells you and saves you the research that you have to do to tell you where and how you can plant the tree. We also sell the trees on our website, and we sell a kit with everything you need in it, so you don't have to go out and buy all these different supplies, like wood chips. You don't want to buy a huge bag of wood chips if you're planting wood trees, so. I Googled that, too. Uh, so, um, and I'm not trying to be difficult, but one of the thoughts I have for you, this is a comment, I'll wrap up with this. Um, I wonder if you thought about creating a community for people you talked about people encouraging each other, or there being some kind of a following. And I think people that are passionate about this would love to stay connected somehow. And I know they could do it on their own Facebook groups or something, but I wonder if you could take this idea that you have and fuse it into something that would create community 
uh, that would be very, very specific to this because they are very passionate. It is a great cause. And I was wondering if you have that component thought of. That's it. Thank you. So I actually think that's a really good idea. And on the website, if you see in the top right corner, you can see a sign in. And there's actually a whole social aspect to that. So you can add friends and text message and you can talk about an entire you know, social aspects like that. So we already have that kind of, but it would be actually a really good idea to, you know, go further on that.